Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. It's now Thursday around noon and I have a lot of work to do. I don't know how much I get done until the release of this video, which will be on Saturday, 10 o'clock p.m. Central European time. There are two things I want to do in this video. The first thing is uh, the parts of the plane I will use. And as you can see here, the drying of uh, these parts should take, so Revel says, 10 hours. This isn't so great, but I'll see how I get along with this. And the next thing is the surrounding of the scrapyard, which I will saw off camera and uh, show you the thing how I have planted when the pieces are done. I also spray it only in this primer. This should be enough, a light gray, this is great. And primer is very fast drying. I have this here in my studio to get it warm. It was uh, former in the cellar and the cellar has around uh, four degrees uh, Celsius. I show you some impressions of the work I do, thawing and spraying off camera. And uh, then uh, I put all things together and I hope you enjoy the show. So this is my first idea for the surrounding of the scrapyard. I hope the rain will stop so that I can paint them and glue them onto the plate. So now it's time to start with the first and the biggest obstacle on my course, which is the plane or parts of the plane. I begin with the wings. I leave out the pylons, the elevators. And part of the fuselage. I think I'll paint uh, this intake things here. Don't paint the rest. This will be done later. So I had an obstacle which I can show you. Don't know if I do more.
Now the fuselage of the plane has to dry. The next thing I do is uh, putting the walls onto the module. So the scrapyard gets a little bit more shape and the parts I made until yet are really good for a test. Okay, the wooden parts are painted and dried out. With primer it works very well, it uh, dries very fast. I put them on the module with this 5 minute epoxy where I use this mix adapter which is very great. You don't use too much of the glue. There the good stuff comes. So this is everything for the day. The plane has to dry, the scrapyard has to dry and tomorrow I see what I can show you next. So it's a new day, the walls have dried, the plane had dried and I do some makeup before I put all the obstacles onto the course I have and try it out with my crawler.
So I think you get the idea. There's still plenty of work to do. I'm planning to build up the models as monocoques. Put the tires here, here the motors and the exhaust pipes and here I'm not already sure what I'm doing. This will be the plane area. There'll be some more parts and uh, because the plane fits perfect in this direction, I will put out uh, the nozzles, uh, excuse me, I will build the nozzles too. This should be flexible, so this obstacle varies in many reasons. I do a little test in a few minutes, or direct after here. The cars have no weight, I don't think this will work. This should work, and the thing is, these walls mostly are too high for the car. So I will buy further cars, get further rubber tires, get uh, further motors, exhaust pipes and so on. But because I'm running out of time, I will leave it as it is now and uh, build on when I have enough time, paint everything up and show you how the progress of this module will go on. So let's do the first test run. Okay, we have the first damage. This elevator has come off. I think I will fix them, complete, so they can't move anymore, or leave it off the plane. No, it really makes no sense. Okay, but I think you get the idea. Here will be a pyramid of different cars. I only have four at the moment, but these four take a lot of time to build them up. The plane part will get more parts and maybe I found a little car like a beetle or something else which I could put into here. The main key is not to get the car stuck on these walls. And on the last test, it works perfect with the tires. I thank you for watching. If you stayed with me until here, I'm happy. There's a lot of work to do. I do the most off camera 
because uh, for the cars it's mostly painting and gluing and uh, putting on uh, moss onto the module or some graffitis which by the way are old Tamiya stickers they had uh, these uh, ones uh, in uh, the spare part or the optional parts I hope you all have a great evening and I'm really happy if you give a thumbs up if you write a comment give me new ideas or input or have some questions Share this video and please subscribe to my channel. This will really help me out. See you soon on RC Birds.